time for work again. Well, let's begin our lesson. You're not even worth getting up for. Understood. I'll keep them quiet. You're not even worth getting up. Do we have to stay here with this, uh, horn leaf bear? He's too loud. He might attract his friends here. What are you scared for? It's just one horn leaf bear. This fella is pretty tough, though. It keeps attacking itself and using the pain to try and keep sane. <laughs> I love how it struggles. Do we have any more of those pills? A few more, and I think it'll be under our control. <laughs> no more, boss. You know that there's something going on in Ryham. There aren't enough gem vine grapes to go around, and the Syndicate can provide more pills. It's the Cursed Adamant Syndicate again. What have they been feeding the Hornleaf Bears? That Hornleaf Bear is in pain. Could it be the friend that Hewan was speaking of? There was no mistaking it. Hewan said her friend was gentle and fluffy. That's exactly how you would describe a Hornleaf Bear. We cannot allow these people to harm the creatures of the forest. Let's move. Ugh, 
life work again. This is a leaf. As far as I know, horn leaf bears give each other leaves as a sign of friendship, and this leaf was originally placed over his heart. A gift of the leaves covering their hearts is how horn leaf bears express their gratitude. How do we explain to Hewan that we couldn't save her friend? I agree. Eventually, all lies are discovered. It's best to be honest with her. She's strong enough to handle it. Curses! Where else has the dirty tendrils of the Syndicate spread? Eomir, that leech! I will never forgive him. He's the one that's bringing all these carrion eaters into our forest. Save your words until we meet Eomir face to face. Miss Ewan is waiting for us. She needs to know. Let's head back to Lover's Wish. Even if it's bad news, please tell me. This was his leaf, the pretty one, right over his heart. <laughs> Our deepest apologies. We couldn't save your friend. There's no need to apologize. He wasn't your responsibility. Thank you for bringing back his leaf. Only bears bury their deceased companions. I wish to bury this leaf. We'll accompany you.
Thank you. I was born of the Taran River. It's my duty to protect all... My rank can only slow the spread of corruption. That is the only thing I can do. I'm useless. You tried your best, Hewan. Don't blame yourself. The villagers of Taran fell sick from drinking corrupted river water, and Granny Fennel needs your dewdrops to make medicine for everyone. You're the only one who can help us. But if I hand over the dewdrops, I won't be able to continue this reign of purification. The corruption will worsen. I don't want to see people suffer, but I also can't let the corruption continue to spread. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Ewan, a drop of water cannot change the course of a river. You're not fighting alone. You have us. Please have faith that we will find a way to restore not only Lover's Wish, but the entire Vaduso Mountains and the Dark Forest to what they once were. I'm not alone in this, am I? Hewan, we want to save this land as much as you do. And the people in Taran Village need you very much. Yes, I believe the words you speak. If this is what it takes to save everyone, then take all of my dewdrops. I'll be here waiting for your safe return. Please return with some good news. You're back. Did you find Hewin? Yes, these are Hewin's dewdrops. Everyone is saved. I'll brew the medicine right now. Please help me distribute the cure to everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you for your help, Outlander. I didn't like Outlanders before. That was my fault. I was being too narrow-minded. Please forgive me. My daughter almost lost her life. Thanks to you, she'll live. You have my sincere gratitude. You are the saviors of Taran Village. May the dear spirit bless you always. Everyone is slowly recovering. There is a school to the northeast of Lover's Wish called Jade Lake Academy. There are quite a few children there, and I'm worried about them. Although they have a great teacher, there might be trouble. I've made another batch of medicine just in case. Please, go check up on them. G go to Jade Lake Academy? Mm. Nothing. 
the teacher at Jade Lake Academy is very knowledgeable. She knows Master Arden and may have news of him. Seek her out and you may find answers. Tell the people at the Academy that you are a friend of mine and they will let you in. Thank you again. This medicine can cure you, little ones. You're all strangers. Can we even trust you? We won't be easily fooled. We're friends. Granny Fennel sent us to bring you medicine. No, our teacher told us not to accept things from strangers. Even if the stranger is a pretty lady. That's right. I don't want it. It's all right, children. She's an old friend of mine. Take the medicine she brought. It'll make you feel better. If you say so, Miss Florabelle. It's so bitter. Finish all your medicine, and I'll give you your favorite candies. If you don't take your medicine, your stomach aches will get worse. Please, listen to Miss Florabelle. Now. Oh, warm. 
Now that you've taken your medicine, why don't you all go rest by the tree for a while? Miss Flora Bell needs to express her gratitude to these guests. The teacher that Granny Fennel mentioned really was you. It's been a long time, Flora Bell. Aaron, are you finding it difficult to practice the way of the sword? There's a haunted look in your eyes. Things have not been easy. Flora Bell, you should have already guessed that something is wrong in the Dark Forest. Otherwise, we wouldn't have come to the Vedusa Mountains. It's been a while, Laika. You did not even greet me properly. Alas, after graduation, you no longer see me as one of your schoolmates. How I miss those days when you used to admire me and follow me around all the time. You were like sheet moss on a rock, clinging to me day and night. You're misremembering. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot that you were always crying on my shoulder about every little thing. Wow, this is the first time I've seen Laika at a loss for words. Hey, you're Lawson, aren't you? <laughs> You've grown. Did your sister miss me after I left the Dark Forest? Your poor taste in jokes is as bad as ever, Florabelle. I thought you would be more reserved once you became a teacher. What are you talking about? The kids love me. You won't find another teacher with a youthful mindset like mine. <laughs> anyway, old friends coming to see me is one thing. But meeting you, Magister Merlin, is an honor. This is the first time we've met, but I've heard a lot about you. Wait, we've all heard of Merlin, but none of us guessed his identity on our first try. How did you know? I'm the one who told Florabelle. The old geezer was here. Lawson, what did you just say? Uh, it's great to see you again, Master Arden. Mm, I must be losing my hearing. I swear I heard you call me an old geezer. Uh, yes, you misheard. Anyway, we've been looking for you everywhere, Master Arden. Who knew you were here at the Jade Lake Academy this whole time? Florabelle was in a bit of a bind and I was worried about the children. No wonder the Jade Lake Academy wasn't affected. Both you and Florabelle were here to protect and shield the area. Compared to Magister Merlin, our enchantments are cruel. You seem to know that Eomir is making a mess of the Dark Forest. Why don't you go back and stop him? Lawson, I'm too old to fight Eomir. That is not the way. A vision has told me that there are other things I must do. According to Granny Donnie, there is a direct way to pray and communicate to Miss Arte hidden in the Veduzo Mountains. Is this true? That is right. According to my studies, the legendary place where Miss Arte occasionally reveals herself is in Ivory Shade. It's northeast of the Veduzo Mountains. There is a legend that claims the Wild Mother herself blessed this sanctuary. Ivory Shade's inhabitants are cut off from the outside world and tasked with guarding the altar of Misate. Only there can you see the true form of the Deer Spirit. Journey to Ivory Shade and ask Misate how the Dark Forest can be saved. This task I set upon you. But Master Arden, Ivory Shade is just a legend. No one has actually been there. Are you sure? Lawson, go confirm with your own eyes and ears. Take your companions and go northeast. Miss Arty will not stand idly by while danger befalls the Lucent Tree. If you lose your way, just look for the butterflies on your journey. I'll be here when you all return.
The world needs balance. world needs balance. Understood. I'll keep them quiet.
Every sword is a witness. Understood. I'll keep them quiet.
A bit of luck. world needs balance.
Perfection needs no emphasis. Is that horrible creature about to come back? Really? I'm psyching myself up for nothing. Pray to Mazate. May this be our last test. You think this is a test? A test of what? There won't be a test of courage, will there? A test to see if we're allowed into Ivory Shade. Where can we go? There's no road ahead. There is indeed no path if you're just using your eyes. Lawson, Brian, can you hear anything? Not right now. If this really is a test, they first tested my archery, and then they tested Aaron's swordsmanship. Perhaps this time, they want to test your perception as a wind whisperer, Brian. I'm not the only wind whisperer here. Lawson is more skilled at scrying than I am. You weren't so humble yesterday. Since you said that, I guess I have to do my best. I'll need to prepare the ritual that you witnessed in Rihem. This time, I'm going to ask you to collect bay twigs for the ritual. I need to stay here and prepare. Just like before. Okay, now I will start the ritual. Lord of the winds, so wild and free, I stand before you as you can see. I hear your breath, I feel your grace. Let me fall into your boundless embrace. May the dust fly in the wind's gentle breeze and whisper my prayers to you with ease. I am Larson, yearning for your aid in all, in anticipation of your guiding call. Hmm. 
I don't hear anything. How could that be? Did we make a mistake? No, this just proves that we weren't wrong. This is indeed a test for a Wind Whisperer. There are no true airtight walls in this world. Even the most solid rock has crevices filled with air. But there's absolutely no sound here. Not at all. This means this is not a rock at all. It's a barrier created by magic, with the entrance hidden behind. I just had a thought. There were two kinds of butterflies in front of the rock wall. Maybe that's a clue on how to break through the barrier. One type of butterfly can be removed by swordplay, and the other type needs to be shot by Laika. What would happen if we combined our efforts against one butterfly? We might as well try. Let's do it, Laika. I can't believe there are Outlanders in Ivory Shade. We haven't had Outlanders since my grandfather's generation. 
You all look tired. Would you like to sit down? Especially the handsome young man with the blindfold. Do you need a drink? No need. Oh, the cold shoulder, huh? Now you've piqued my interest. What's your name? Are you by any chance betrothed? The men here are childish and not my type. I like deep, steady types like you. What do you mean, deep and steady? He's clearly an expressionless clod. You don't have a lot of experience, do you? You'll never understand the appeal of a mature man. Anyway, handsome stranger, I just finished baking. I have some cake for you if you want to come over. Help me. Don't throw me to the wolves. Please help me. Ha! Huh. Do you find me that annoying? Miss, sorry to interrupt. Whatever this is. Uh, we actually came to Ivory Shade to seek the guidance of the Deer Spirit. But we don't know what to do. Oh, you must go to the Spirit Mound, for it is only there that you may be able to hear the voice of the Deer Spirit. However, the gate to the Spirit Mound only opens on prayer day. You can't go right now. It's in two days. Why don't you stay with me? I promise I'll be a good host. And you, handsome stranger, can take my bed. Perhaps we ought to ask around first. Hey, don't go! I just want to get to know you! Hurry up! Move this to the Spirit Mound. Wait, who are you? Oh, hello, sir. Uh, we've come from the Dark Forest. That's strange. How did you all enter Ivory Shade? We haven't had Outlanders here in a long, long time. How do I explain this? A group of black butterflies guided us here. Black butterflies? Are you sure? This is not something you should joke about. Sir, you seem nervous. What's wrong with black butterflies? Misate's avatar, the dear spirit, sends blue butterflies as her messengers. However, whenever disaster strikes, she sends black butterflies as a warning. Disaster? Indeed, the Lucent Tree is in danger. 
That's why we've come to seek Misate's guidance. The Lucent Tree. Although I've never been to the Dark Forest, I know that it's a sacred tree planted by Misate herself. How could the Lucent Tree be in danger? Did the Wilders of the Dark Forest not protect it properly? I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? In any case, if you wish to seek Misate's guidance, you must go to the Spirit Man. We have been watching over that divine altar for generations. The gate to the Spirit Mound is reachable through the road behind the Ivory Tree. But unfortunately, prayer day has not come yet, and you will not be able to enter. Sir, the situation is critical. We need Masarte's guidance. You are outlanders. No wonder you don't know the rules of Ivory Shade. Please allow me to explain. Only on the day of the full moon are we all welcome to pray at the altar of the Deer Spirit. On other days, the Spirit Mound is not open. This is a rule we've followed for generations. If you trespass, you will offend the Goddess. But the Lucent Tree is in danger. We cannot delay any longer. Can't you just bend the rules a bit? Whatever your pressing concerns, please observe the rules in Ivory Shade. Ivory Shade welcomes all guests, but we will never tolerate the breaking of customs and traditions. Seeds need time to blossom. We who live in this land should understand the need for patience. Prayer day is fast approaching. Trust me, you won't have long to wait. Please return when it is time. There's no way to get close to the altar. And we can't do it the hard way. The people here are too nice and friendly. I can't imagine myself getting rough with them. Fortunately, prayer day is approaching soon. And then we can go to the spirit mound. In the meantime, it seems all we can do is wait. Although the people here are friendly, they don't look anxious at all. Which makes me very anxious. The corruption outside is very serious. Yet these people here are so laid back. Hammy, you gotta be patient with them. Ivory Shade hasn't been corrupted. They have nothing to be worried about. Chippy is right. Life in Ivory Shade is peaceful. The people here do not feel a sense of doom approaching. Even if something strange is happening outside, they aren't affected. It's difficult for them to understand how serious this new danger is. Do you have any ideas at the moment, Aaron? Aaron? As the scion of the Lucent Tree, I couldn't do anything to prevent the corruption. Oh no, she's about to blow. Like a, please calm down. Enough. Why did we come to Ivory Shade, Aaron? Is it because we're all weak and incompetent? We're now forced to seek help from Misate? Is that what you think? Magister Merlin did everything he could. We all tried our best. Me, Brian, Lawson and everyone else. Are we all just a burden to you? I never thought that, Lyca. You're mistaken. You just don't understand. When you belittle yourself, you belittle us as well. This is not a responsibility you can carry alone. Stop being so arrogant. You claim to be doing it for the sake of the Dark Forest and the Lucent Tree. Yet, in your eyes, you only see yourself. If you intend to remain so dispirited, take your sword and get out of my sight. I don't ever want to see you again. Scion of the Lucent Tree? <laughs> I'll never attest to it. Like her? Oh, she's gone. Aaron, what are you doing? You're leaving too? Aaron! Now what do we do? My ability to soothe individuals is lacking. I won't be of much use. However, I do understand Lyca's anger. Aaron has always been a lone swordsman who never relied on anyone. 
Not even us, his companions. Does he have no faith in us? You don't think those two will actually become enemies, right? Ah, oh, it's not the time for jokes right now. You're making me all worried. There's nothing else we can do. Let's split up first. I'm going to try to convince people of the dangers of the corruption. There seems to be a lot of noise around that big white tree. Maybe something happened. Why don't you go over there and take a look? I'll come find you later. Prayer day is coming! As a rule, we need to dance for the dear spirit. One of our dancers is missing. Her friend asked her to go pick flowers, but she never returned. I can't find her anywhere. If the prayer dance doesn't happen, the ceremony won't be held on time. <sighs> what should we do? Magister, if prayer day is postponed, we'll have to stay in ivory shade until the next full moon. Really? Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you so much. Someone said they saw her going towards the Wise Grove. I'll look around here. How about you search the area around Wise Grove?
goodness, I thought I was going to die. I came to pick bluebells. Look, there they are. Legend has it that Masate's messengers love bluebells. Are you familiar with Masate's messengers? They're the blue glittering butterflies. The blue butterflies have been working so hard. I wanted Danig to decorate the cake with blue flowers as a form of thanks. This bluebell happened to be growing in a rocky crevice. I managed to climb up but found myself trapped by the thorns. Not long after, these ferocious creatures had me surrounded again. If not for your timely appearance, I wouldn't know what to do. Anyway, thank you again. You're such a kind person. Is there any chance that you could help me deliver this blue flower to Danik? Danik is near a cottage north of the ivory tree. There is a path shaped like an ear. The cottage is near that area. But if Danik isn't home, he'll be in that general area. The thorns ripped my dress. I need to go home and mend it. I can't dance for Masate in a torn dress. Not on prayer day. Kind sir, I don't expect you to go all the way for nothing. Please take this as a reward. do for you. Oh, isn't that a bluebell? What a perfect bluebell. Each petal is like a work of art. Bluebells won't wither even if they're picked. They're very magical. Alas, these blue caterpillars are different. They're very delicate. It's this little guy. Don't underestimate these insects. These blue caterpillars will grow into blue butterflies in the future. And they're very useful too. By extracting their saliva, you can make beautifully coloured pigments, perfect for food colouring. I wanted to make a beautiful blue cake and came looking for blue caterpillars. But blue caterpillars are delicate. They usually hide in the tallest trees. And it doesn't take them too long to find a spot to spin a cocoon. I don't know how to get their saliva before that happens. In order to not harm these insects, a very precise instrument must be used. It's too big. It can't be moved here. It won't work. If magic is applied, they'll spin a cocoon right away. We won't be able to extract their saliva at all. All right. You do have nice long limbs. You must be good at running and hopping. OK, I'll leave it to you then. My brother made numerous unsuccessful attempts to catch these. How, how did you do it? W w wind souls? Th th those are rare. You must be, be very special. Thanks for the help. I I I'll extract the saliva from these little buggers before they decide to pupate. Uh, by the way, he here's a reward as thanks. P please take it. Maybe you should get 
get your eyes checked, Lawson. No, I think I saw a black butterfly again. The people of Ivory Shade say that black butterflies foretell disastrous events. I'm a little worried. Are you getting enough sleep? That could be affecting me. I haven't been able to sleep well. Don't be scared. It's not the first time we've encountered the black butterflies. With the great Magister Merlin here, we'll be fine. Yes, I need to get it together. It's prayer day. Let's hurry to the spirit mound and seek answers from Miss Ate. Aaron and Brian are already there. Let's go meet with them. Outlander, after you defeated the Mycelins just now, your figures were enveloped in a gentle white light. I don't know what that means. Ah, you have passed the Mycelins test and gained Mazate's guidance. Did you get the answers you wanted? Hi, Priestess. After we sought guidance from the Deer Spirit, it bestowed this upon us. Do you know what this is? This is... the Sylvan Egg. Legend has it that before her fall, Mizate hid the Sylvan Egg in Ivory Shade. For many years, the Sylvan Egg has been waiting for someone who needs it most. The appearance of the Black Butterfly means disaster will befall us. Outlander, you've come all this way to Ivory Shade. Is disaster finally at our doorstep? This is terrible. I fear not only for the Lucent Tree. If the corruption is not removed, I'm afraid all of Asperia will be in danger. My worst nightmare has come true. Those men in black will destroy the Veduso Mountains. I dreamt of a group of men dressed in black wandering around Ivory Shade. They looked similar to the men of the Adamant Syndicate that you claimed have corrupted the Lucent Tree. You've seen the Adamant Syndicate in your dreams? Do you know where they are located? I saw a map which showed many caves in the nearby mountains. The tunnels were elaborate and perfect for hiding from sight. Eomir may be hiding among them. I will not forgive Eomir. We should search the area and try to find some clues. What did Alona say to you, Brian? She seems anxious. 
We agreed that she should visit Taran Village as we're both concerned about the situation there. She told me that the corruption of Lover's Wish has got worse due to the influence of the Loosened Tree. This has put Hewen in a terrible state. I'm afraid we'll have to return to Taran Village as soon as possible. As much as I worry about Hewen, we finally have a lead on Eomir. Will we ever find him again if he runs away now? He harmed the Dark Forest. He must pay! How about I stay here, Laika? If Eomir is hiding nearby, I should be able to hear him. Leave this trivial matter to me. Stop messing around. You're no match for him. Let him stay. You don't know what you're talking about. Lawson always gets in over his head. I know what I'm doing, Laika. Don't worry about me. If there's danger, I know how to escape. Well, that's right. If things get dangerous, I'll just hightail it out of there. Elika, do you recall what you told Aaron? If you can't trust others, how can you ask others to do the same? I... well... you win, Brian. Lawson, you must promise me that you will protect yourself. Not a problem. Go ahead, everyone. When you get back, I bet I'll have some wonderful news to share with you. It seems that you've successfully acquired the Sylvan Egg. Master Arden, how do you know this is the Sylvan Egg? Could it be you've been to Ivory Shade? Ah, Brian, my wise student, nothing gets past you. Yes, before you all arrived, I found Ivory Shade and met the Deer Spirit. The Deer Spirit tasked me to guide you there. Mizate wanted to meet you all. I'm relieved that you passed her test. Is it possible to purify the Lucent Tree with the Sylvan Egg? No one knows unless one tries. Magister Merlin, I've heard that you specialize in purification magic. Master Arden, Magister Merlin used a lot of magic in the Dark Forest and needs to recover. Then we can only have human try. The purification ritual is very powerful magic. In her current state, I don't know if she'll be able to succeed. Yes, I don't know if I can complete the ritual right now. Thank you. You're too kind. Magister Merman, let's do the purification ritual. Together. Looking at this beautiful sea of flowers, it feels as if I've become 300 years younger. I think I will compose a poem about the events that transpired here. But this is not the time for that. Ryan, look to the sky. Elona is looking for you. Elona, I told you to stay in Ivory Shade. Why are you here? Brian, what did Elona say? Has something happened to Lawson? The Ivory Tree shows signs of corruption. What? Magister Merlin completed the purification ritual. How could the corruption have spread to Ivory Shade? It seems the current state of the Sylvan Egg isn't enough to overcome the corruption completely. The only reason you were able to cleanse this area was because Hewin and Magister Merlin's combined magic triggered the remaining life force in the Sylvan Egg. In other words, a part of Mizate's divine power was retained in the Sylvan Egg. It seems that the Sylvan Egg is actually a vessel for storing power. Ah, now I understand. Master Arden, please explain. To fully cleanse it, 
I'm afraid you'll have to destroy Aemir in order to retrieve the life force he stole from the Lucent Tree. And the purpose of the Sylvan Egg is to absorb this life force so that even after slaying Aemir, it does not vanish. But how can we find Eomir? There is no need to be hasty. A path will appear. One tree does not make a forest. You'll need the strength of all your companions. For now, go and help Lawson first. Scared me half to death. I thought I was going to die just now. I was imagining everyone singing Rockabye Bunny at my funeral. Do you remember, Laika? You always sang that song to me when I was little. You goat kissing fool! If you had died today, I would have made Brian send your cursed ashes to the end of the world. Oh, that's a bit much. I was just kidding. Yes, that felt excessive to me as well. Thank you for taking my side, Brian. I would have merely sent your ashes out of the dark forest. Do you think that's far enough, Magister Merlin? I simply wanted him to know the consequences of not cherishing his life. I got it. I won't make those types of jokes anymore. You. Well, Aaron, is that a smile I see? All this time, I thought you'd forgotten how to smile. Let's get back on point. Lawson, let's start by telling you about the situation at Lover's Wish. What? The Sylvan Egg isn't enough to cleanse the corruption. We still have to defeat Eomir. On top of that, make sure we don't let the life force dissipate. Yes, so did you find any traces of Eomir? I didn't find Eomir, but you all saw the Adamant Syndicate here. They broke through Misarte's ward and rushed into Ivory Shade. These Syndicate henchmen built a bridge and came from the south. I also heard a lot of people talking in the southern caves. The Adamant Syndicate is probably gathering over there. Eomir's injured and can't move around easily. Since they're allies, the Syndicate wouldn't have abandoned him. I'm not saying the Adamant Syndicate can be trusted. However, the Lucent Tree has not been completely corrupted. I think they still need Eomir. Therefore, it would be my guess that the Adamant Syndicate is protecting Eomir. If we can find their base, we can find Eomir. Does that make sense? I'm glad you agree. 
So many syndicate members in one place. I also believe one of their bases could be nearby. Even if we can't find Eamir, it's time to eliminate these grove killers from the forest. I agree. Otherwise they may raid Ivory Shade again. Misata herself has blessed this holy place. It cannot be defiled. I believe Misate will guide us. She surely would wish for peace to return to the region. Master Arden said that a path will appear. Doubt is not needed. Let us move forward. A bit of luck. Everyone read the letter, right? This was indeed Eamir's hiding place. He's injured and needs protection. That's why the Adamit Syndicate was here. Don't leave out the key piece of information. The reward that Eamir promised them was the land here. I'm afraid that this place has already become a testing ground for the Adamant Syndicate. He has no right to do this. Selling our precious land to Grove Killers? How many more lies will Eamir continue to tell? Selling our land for protection. He must be badly hurt. Ha! I've got you now. You can't escape from me. I like your bunny ears. I think I'll make a good luck charm out of them once I'm done with you. <laughs> Amir shouldn't be far. We need to give chase now. By the way, doesn't anyone want to comment on Eomir's terrible handwriting? I hadn't realized it until now, but his handwriting is so horrendous. At least we were able to read it. Bloody Persax! How dare you ignore me! It's getting a bit too noisy. Let's quiet this fellow. A bit of luck.
doing here no get back don't come near me a nice human no I must be dreaming help me yes there's no reason for you to lie to me I have nothing to lose my name is Ivan and I am the village chief of Timberhind before how have villagers lived a comfortable life However, ever since a group of humans appeared, strange rumors abounded in the village. At first, I thought it was just everyone being a little close-minded and ignorant. But just now, a group of crazed glimmer blooms suddenly appeared. They destroyed whatever they saw in the village. Many young people were slain. My son and I also got separated in the chaos. This all happened because of me. If I had believed those rumors in the beginning, maybe everything would be fine. My village, the villagers, and my son. <laughs> I'm the village chief, and I couldn't do anything. Really? You are unlike any human I've ever met. Blessed Masati! You've returned safely! Are those corrupted creatures still in Timberhide? You have my utmost gratitude. But now, I have to go find my son. That's too dangerous! This is not something ordinary people can handle! I know. Of course. I've witnessed the horrors of these creatures. But I can't stay here and hide any longer. My sister is right, Chief Ivan. You'll only get yourself killed. I understand your good intentions. However, I'm not an ordinary person. I am the village chief of Timberhide. I was determined to die for my village. But instead, I ran away. I need to save my son. How can I call myself the village chief if I can't even protect one of my own? This is something I must do. I am not- Are you sure? I think- If he wants to join us, let him. What do you think? Are you serious about this? Through his fear, he has found courage. That is very noble. I do not want to trample on his courage. Thank you. Thank you all.
Boy, let's thank these heroes who have helped save Timberhide. Thank you so much. Timberhide is grateful. It's our duty. If you want to thank someone, thank Magister Merlin. Brian, did you notice anyone else in the cave? Well, those people are very scared, so I stayed silent in order not to alarm them. My child, are all the villagers who escaped with you here? is injured. I came out to find some medicinal herbs. He is fearless. You have a brave son, Chief Ivan. Yes. This child will definitely become a great village chief in the future. Better than I will ever be. Take us to other villages. We will find a solution for medicine together. I was so rude. I was scared out of my wits just now. But the look in your eyes just now. <laughs> you really thought I was the child of prophecy. Are you finished laughing? Stop being rude. It's all right. I wanted to believe it was true. Vina, it's great to see that you're all right. I want to check on everyone. Many villagers are injured. So Kelvin went out to find herbs. We couldn't stop him. Magister, you should continue going after Ymir. 
What about you? There are many corrupted creatures nearby. These villagers can't go out and find herbs like this. The child of prophecy can't just suddenly leave. What do you think, Magister Merlin? We are aware of your haste, Aeron. But this is the best way to keep us from getting separated. Well, let's set off as soon as possible. A bit of luck. herbs. You were able to get them so quickly. I'll brew these herbs right away. Mama, this medicine tastes so bad. But my headache is better. You're finally feeling better. Kelvin is already distributing medicine to everyone. Do you have time to come to Timberhide for a rest? Everyone in the village wants to express their gratitude. By the way, Chief Ivan, among the various rumors you mentioned earlier, was there one about an injured wilder who passed through here? Some people claim to have seen Master Eomir, but how could that be possible? They must have recognized the wrong person. What? Which direction was he going? I'm not sure, but there are no forks in the road near Timberhide. If you keep going- Okay. Slopeville. We have to act quickly. We can't let Eomir escape this time.
a bit of luck. Hey! My turn to take watch. You can go ahead and sleep. I'm not sleepy. As our most indispensable fighting member, you need more rest than I do. I can't sleep. Then come sit down and look at the stars. They're beautiful tonight. Indeed. The night sky is very clear tonight. The last time I saw such a beautiful sea of stars was decades ago. The night sky has always been beautiful. But since you started studying swordsmanship, I'm afraid you never had the time to appreciate what was in front of you. Maybe you're right, Lawson. You know I admire you sometimes. You and Brian always say things that make me think. Very philosophically. Meanwhile, I'm a lummox who always angers the people around me. At times, I'm not even sure why people get angry with me. He and I have been following Master Arden around for so long that we're bound to learn a few things from that old geezer. 
It's no big deal. I envy your sword skills. If I were as strong as you, Laika wouldn't have gotten hurt. Does being strong really matter? I've been so confused ever since I returned to the Dark Forest. If I hadn't left, Ymir's plan might not have succeeded, and the Lucent Tree would be fine right now. In the end, I wanted to become stronger to protect everyone, but I failed to protect them. Did I make a mistake in leaving to become a better swordsman? If you think like that, what are the rest of us supposed to do? Why don't you try to be more like the Magister? Even after losing his memories, he's still very determined to move forward. I'm amazed at how calm he always is. I feel like as long as I'm with him, everything will be all right, no matter what situation we encounter. You know what, Aaron? In the past, you also made everyone feel that way. But somehow, after you got stronger, you felt lost. I'm different from Magister Merlin. Yes, you're right. He doesn't suffer alone. He at least is willing to rely on us. Doesn't relying on others mean that you're weak? I've never thought the Magister was weak, and I'm not alone. Laika and Bryon must think the same. How about you? I think he's a great mage. Of course, that's THE Magister Merlin. And you are Aaron of the Dark Forest. Thank you, Lawson. I think I'm starting to understand. I'm not surprised that Lawson overslept. However, Aaron, what's wrong with you today? Did you accidentally eat some weird fruit last night? There are dark circles under your eyes. Did you stay up all night? No. Why are you laughing, Magister? You know something, don't you? Did they do something they weren't supposed to do? Right, I'll respect their privacy. From the looks of it, it's not something disastrous, at least. <sighs> After a peaceful night's rest, my body feels much better. Thank you, Aaron. Why thank me? You were the one who offered to rest yesterday, but you've always been tireless since we were young. You said that because you were afraid I was pushing myself too hard. Your skills with the bow are indispensable on our journey. We need you in top form. All right, let's go then. There are people waiting for us. Let's capture Eamir and return to the Dark Forest. Give yourself up, Emir. Silence! I am the only one who is fit to lead the Dark 
forest. Who are you to talk to me this way? My only crime was being born at the wrong time. It is you who do not deserve to lead. As long as I have the power of the Dark Forest, I will live forever! The life force of the forest does not belong to you. All the leaves will eventually wither. Face your fate! Hold your tongue. Dani and Arden are destined to perish and fall to the earth, but I will not. You are a goat-kissing fool, Ymir! Granny Dani? <laughs> it seems like we old-timers have finally caught up. Master Arden! Speak for yourself, Arden! I'm still a spring chicken compared to you! Ymir! You joined forces with grove killers and desecrated our sacred tree for your own self-serving ends! carry out Mizarte's will on this day, and mete out justice with my own hands. <laughs> it's been a while since anything has set my blood on fire. I think it is also time for me to stretch my muscles a bit. Be prepared, Emir. Confess your guilt, and we'll show mercy. Things do not have to end this way. Curse you all. Shut up, you old pass. My destiny does not end here. You two have not defeated me. I cannot be defeated. Wait! Stop! Light-blasted fool! What are you all standing around for? Go after him! You promised me more power. I need it now. I must defeat these worlds. You seem to think I owe you something, but our deal is already over. However, since our deal was so favorable to me, I'll grant you your wish. Power! Absolute power! Test subjects always like to talk. <laughs> well, our guests have arrived. Let the show begin.
understood. I'll keep them quiet.
That may be. A single person cannot protect the forest. But I am not alone. Standing behind me are my steadfast companions. The wind and frost unite as one. Time stops. Thunder. Lightning. Hey! Hold it right there! Every sword is a witness. Did we win? I can no longer sense, Eamir. Stupid fool. No one escapes Mazate's will. The life force stolen by Emir has been absorbed into the Sylvan Egg. As long as it is brought back to the Lucent Tree, its powers will be returned. It is done. Master Arden, shouldn't you be a little bit happier at a time like this? Yahoo! It's finally over! See? That's how you celebrate. This is the best time for you to compose one of your poems. It's not over yet. Where did that blue-haired woman go? While we were occupied with Eomir, she used magic to escape. Curses! If she attempts to harm our forest again, I'll chop her into pieces! <laughs> Dani, the children have become stronger. That woman would not dare to come back again. Aaron, look at the sword in your hand. I can feel the power of Mizati in that blade. This is proof that Mizati recognizes you as one of her own. Are you still feeling lost? I heard Mizati's call and she guided me on what I must do. But the moment I drew my sword, I realized I couldn't have gotten this far on my own. I can't guarantee that I will always be strong. But I believe that even if I end up lost once more, my companions will lead me back to the light. This is the answer I have found. Magister Merlin, this child has grown a lot traveling with you. I need more of your candor. You live and you learn. All right, let's save all the talk until we are back in the dark forest. Lucent tree is still waiting for our return.
Magister Merlin, we were waiting for you. Everyone agreed that without you, this ceremony would be incomplete. Without your guidance and leadership, we would not have been able to defeat Ymir. Therefore, we would like to ask you to witness this moment. I am going to return the life force that Ymir stole from the Dark Forest. We will forever be grateful for your contribution and assistance in our time of need. Regardless of Asperia and its future, your deeds will be sung in these parts for generations to come. The Dark Forest is forever grateful to you, Magister Merlin. My back made a cracking sound like rotting wood just now. Oh, I hope it won't suddenly give out on me. Marden, that old rascal isn't much better. As he's gotten older, his body isn't as spry as it used to be. After the battle with Irmia, Arden and I both need to recover from our injuries. The Council of Elders cannot currently govern. According to the ancient rites in the Dark Forest, when the three elders cannot perform their duties, the scion of the loosened tree shall handle all matters until the elders return. <laughs> From now on, you will be very busy, Aaron. Um, regarding this matter, I would like to discuss it with you, Laika. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I've decided to travel the world to pursue the path of the sword. I wish to hone my skills to the pinnacle of swordsmanship. And unlike you, I do not have the power to unite the Wilders. I may be able to stop the disputes, but you have the power to prevent them altogether. I've thought this through. Only by holding this sword can I protect all who dwell in the forest. My sword exists to cut through the darkness in times of strife. And you, Laika, are the one who wanders the night and brings dawn to these lands. What the Dark Forest needs now is you, not me. What do you think, Laika? I don't want to force this decision upon you. Your own thoughts are what matters. If you had asked me when this journey began, my answer would have been an emphatic no. However, after all that we've been through, I'll acquiesce. Being a Dusk Patroller, I want to preserve the peace of the Dark Forest forever. Witnessing the Lucent Tree come back to life feels like a dream, Magister Merlin. Although our journey together was full of dangers and tests, it was an honor to travel with you. You have made me stronger. When I was at my weakest, you were there to lift me up. I will forever remember what you have taught me. Going forward, I will fulfill all my duties as a Dusk Patroller of the Dark Forest. I've always resented being called the Scion of the Lucent Tree. It appears now that this title might not be entirely meaningless. Laika, I hereby grant you the rights to oversee and administrate the Dark Forest in the name of the Scion of the Lucent Tree. Laika, in the name of Misate, so do you pledge Though the rivers may run dry and the mountains crumble, are you willing to lead the forest through dusk till dawn? I am willing. Till death, I will uphold this vow. 
So witnessed by the lucid tree, so is this oath bound. Are you free? I'd like to return to the Veduso Mountains. Yes, there are a couple of things I wish to discuss with you. Not here. I want to go over there and talk. Please, I don't know when we'll see each other again. Just grant me this tiny little wish. I've marked a location on your map. We've been there before. You know where it is. By the way, Aaron, if you're not planning right away, you should come along. I'll be waiting for you there. The last time we camped here, I didn't get much sleep. Because I'm not very good at fighting. I wasn't much help along the way. That's right. This is exactly what I want to do. Next time we meet, I want to fight side by side with you. While traveling with you, I've learned a lot. I didn't leave the dark forest to see the world. All I wanted to do was go out there and find some help for my home. I'm so lucky I found you. In fact, I was dreading the end of our journey together. I wasn't sure what I was going to do at the end of all of this. However, now I've found a new direction. What lies ahead for me? I have an answer. I've decided to go on a trip. whisper of wind the world has to offer. You're finally back! How did everything go? Yeah, that was pretty much a given. Not long ago, a dusk patroller stopped by to inform us that the exclusion edict had been lifted. I let General Hogan know via a carrier pigeon. He's already dispatched a ship to retrieve all of us. Whether it's returning to Hollistone or starting a new life in the Dark Forest, these refugees have the freedom to choose. It's almost time for us to return, although I really want to stay for two more days and give myself a nice vacation. The Heroic Order has affairs that I need to attend to. Uh, it was a rare trip to the Dark Forest. Now I have to get back to work before I even have time to appreciate the scenery. Let's go. Our ship is waiting at the dock. It's time to bid you farewell. I am a little bit sad, though not very sad, since I genuinely think we'll cross paths again in the future. Okay, I need to set off soon as well. Aaron, when are you planning to leave? I will stay for a few more days. Laika just took over handling all the affairs of the Dark Forest. She may need help. Aren't you going to say goodbye to Laika before you leave? Like you said, she's busy in her new role. I don't think she has time to worry about me. Who's scared? I just don't want to disturb her, that's all. I mean, if she really doesn't let me leave, then that would be a problem. I think Laika would be upset if you left without saying goodbye. Well, if she does get really angry, remember to say a few nice words for me. 
Anyway, farewell, friends. When the wind blows swiftly towards you once more, that's when we'll see each other again. yourself a comfy spot, we'll be gliding through these waters in no time. Watching those refugees find shelter, it feels like things in the dark forest are finally settling down. <laughs> We're just like the tail sunk by the barn. Loyal knights once again wielding their swords and shields, protecting the people. Come on, you big talker. You didn't even do much. Our mighty magister did most of the work, right? Seriously, you're too modest sometimes. Anyways, we're back in Hollistone again. I wonder if anyone missed me. <laughs> 